Well, I'm here with Anthony Patterson, the CEO of Virtual Marine, here on the Safer Training Scotland stand in the Ingenious Zone. I think I've got all that right. Yeah, that's it. Would you like to explain, to begin with, before we have a wee look at this uh, motor contraption here, just sure. the relationship between Virtual Marine and Safer Training Scotland. How does that work? Okay, sure. So Virtual Marine, we're a Canadian company. We're based in St. John's, Newfoundland, and we build simulation technology to train workers how to work in very difficult conditions, harsh marine environments. So light boats, fast rescue craft. And uh, we've partnered up with Safer Training uh, because they're using our systems to introduce them into the United Kingdom. So uh, we're setting up a training center here in Aberdeen, grand opening on Friday. It's the first uh, one of its kind in the United Kingdom. We're so excited and to kick things off right, we're uh, coming to the booth to show some of our technology with them. Oh, that's wonderful. You're going to have a splendid week, aren't you? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's taken, uh, uh, we've been working with Safer for about 10 years. Um, and it's taken a fair amount of time to get all the approvals in place and to get all the industry on side. It's been quite a voyage, but now we're close to the end and we're just uh, absolutely delighted that we're bringing this new technology into the United Kingdom. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, I can't help but notice the driving that's going on here. Just what is happening here in the corner of your stand? Okay, so this is a lifeboat simulator. So uh, one of the things that we do is we teach lifeboat coxswains how to evacuate oil rigs in, in storm conditions. Uh, airline pilots use uh, simulators for practicing landing damaged aircraft and we teach uh, coxswains how to uh, launch lifeboats in rough seas, for instance. So what's going on behind us is that uh, this, uh, this person is, has launched into a, a rough sea with uh, poor visibility, the rig is on fire, and they're now trying, maneuvering to come alongside of a rescue ship. These are all competencies you need to have as in that position, but it's impossible to train for, for these conditions in the harbor or using real boats. So we, we uh, be, are able to challenge people so they have the competencies they need to have if they had ever had to abandon ship. You mentioned harsh conditions. I mean, the conditions in the North Sea, they don't get much harsher than that, do they? Well, absolutely. So we started off in the Newfoundland offshore. Uh, we, our weather conditions are like yours, except we also have the uh, added pleasure of having ice come through our, our areas. So it's only in places like the Grand Banks and in the North Sea where you have the extreme weather conditions that are necessary to build this type of technology. So our technology really came from uh, about 20 years of research after Ocean Ranger uh, for uh, uh, evacuating into very rough seas. And we took a lot of the information that we figured out and put it into the software. And then working with companies like Safer, we may managed to uh, put it into training programs that would, would comply with various regulatory standards and, uh, and be relevant for the people that are in, the, in their local jurisdiction. And have you had quite a lot of interest already at the start? Oh, absolutely. Uh, like right from day one, the uh, oil company's been behind the development of this. They sponsored the invention of lifeboat simulation and they've been with us uh, every step of the way to make sure that the simulators were fit for purpose uh, to help us with the regulatory approvals and getting the approvals into industry standards. So uh, they're also very excited that this type of training methodology is coming uh, into place and that their people can be trained using the most advanced training in the world. Well, I can be happier for you. What a week you are going to have. I wish you all the very best. A pleasure to meet you. A uh, pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much.